One. Free time. Students have free time in the day. They run in the school playground, or they talk to their friends. Some students play soccer or basketball. These boys and girls play soccer in their free time. Students have free time after school too. In some schools, there's a garden. There are flowers and vegetables in the garden. Students help in the garden after school. In some schools, there's a band. Students play in the band after school. Listen and practice. English reading practice. Free time. Free time. Free time. Students have free time in the day. Students have free time in the day. Students have free time in the day. They run in the school playground. They run in the school playground. They run in the school playground. Or they talk to their friends. Or they talk to their friends. Or they talk to their friends. Some students play soccer or basketball. Some students play soccer or basketball. Some students play soccer or basketball. These boys and girls 
play soccer in their free time. These boys and girls play soccer in their free time. These boys and girls play soccer in their free time. Students have free time after school, too. Students have free time after school, too. Students have free time after school, too. In some schools, there's a garden. In some schools, there's a garden. In some schools, there's a garden. There are flowers and vegetables in the garden. There are flowers and vegetables in the garden. There are flowers and vegetables in the garden. Students help in the garden after school. Students help in the garden after school. Students help in the garden after school. In some schools, there's a band. In some schools, there's a band. In some schools, there's a band. Students play in the band after school.
students play in the band after school. Students play in the band after school. Listen and practice. English reading practice. Free time. Students have free time in the day. They run in the school playground or they talk to their friends. Some students play soccer or basketball. These boys and girls play soccer in their free time. Students have free time after school, too. In some schools, there's a garden. There are flowers and vegetables in the garden. Students help in the garden after school. In some schools, there's a band. Students play in the band after school. Listen and practice. English reading practice. Free time. Free time. Free time. Students have free time in the day. Students have free time in the day. Students have free time in the day. They run in the school playground. They run in the school playground. They run in the school playground. Or they talk to their friends. Or they talk to their friends. Or they talk to their friends. Some students play soccer or basketball.
Some students play soccer or basketball. Some students play soccer or basketball. These boys and girls play soccer in their free time. These boys and girls play soccer in their free time. These boys and girls play soccer in their free time. Students have free time after school, too. Students have free time after school, too. Students have free time after school, too. In some schools, there's a garden. In some schools, there's a garden. In some schools, there's a garden. There are flowers and vegetables in the garden. There are flowers and vegetables in the garden. There are flowers and vegetables in the garden. Students help in the garden after school. Students help in the garden after school. Students help in the garden after school. In some schools, there's a band.
In some schools, there's a band. In some schools, there's a band. Students play in the band after school. Students play in the band after school. Students play in the band after school. Two. This is Nelly. She's a nurse. She's tall and thin. She works at the hospital. She looks after sick people. She gets up at six o'clock in the morning. She takes a shower and puts on her clothes. Then she eats breakfast at half past six. At seven o'clock, she drives her car to the hospital. Nelly starts work at eight o'clock. She cleans the rooms in the hospital. Then she helps the doctors. At twelve o'clock, she has lunch. She goes home at five o'clock. At home, she takes a shower and she cooks dinner. She has dinner at half past six in the evening. Then she watches TV. At ten o'clock, she goes to bed. Repeat after me. This is Nelly. She's a nurse. This is Nelly. She's a nurse. This is Nelly. She's a nurse. She's tall and thin. She's tall and thin. She's tall and thin. She works at the hospital. She works at the hospital. She works at the hospital. She looks after sick people. She looks after sick people. She looks after sick people. She gets up at six o'clock in the morning. She gets up at six o'clock in the morning. She gets up at six o'clock in the morning. She takes a shower and puts on her clothes. She takes a shower and puts on her clothes. She takes a shower and puts on her clothes. 
Then she eats breakfast at half past six. 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 At seven o'clock, she drives her car to the hospital. At seven o'clock, she drives her car to the hospital. At seven o'clock, she drives her car to the hospital. Nelly starts work at eight o'clock. Nelly starts work at eight o'clock. Nelly starts work at eight o'clock. She cleans the rooms in the hospital. She cleans the rooms in the hospital. She cleans the rooms in the hospital. Then, she helps the doctors. Then, she helps the doctors. Then, she helps the doctors. At 12 o'clock, she has lunch. At 12 o'clock, she has lunch. At 12 o'clock, she has lunch. She goes home at five o'clock. She goes home at five o'clock. She goes home at five o'clock. At home, she takes a shower and she cooks dinner. At home, she takes a shower and she cooks dinner. At home, she takes a shower and she cooks dinner. She has dinner at half past six in the evening. She has dinner at half past six in the evening. She has dinner at half past six in the evening. Then, she watches TV. Then, she watches TV. Then, she watches TV.
At ten o'clock, she goes to bed. At ten o'clock, she goes to bed. At ten o'clock, she goes to bed. This is Nelly. She's a nurse. She's tall and thin. She works at the hospital. She looks after sick people. She gets up at six o'clock in the morning. She takes a shower and puts on her clothes. Then she eats breakfast at half past six. At seven o'clock, she drives her car to the hospital. Nelly starts work at eight o'clock. She cleans the rooms in the hospital. Then she helps the doctors. At twelve o'clock, she has lunch. She goes home at five o'clock. At home, she takes a shower and she cooks dinner. She has dinner at half past six in the evening. Then she watches TV. At ten o'clock, she goes to bed. Repeat after me. This is Nelly. She's a nurse. This is Nelly. She's a nurse. This is Nelly. She's a nurse. She's tall and thin. She's tall and thin. She's tall and thin. She works at the hospital. She works at the hospital. She works at the hospital. She looks after sick people. She looks after sick people. She looks after sick people. She gets up at six o'clock in the morning. She gets up at six o'clock in the morning. She gets up at six o'clock in the morning. She takes a shower and puts on her clothes. She takes a shower and puts on her clothes. She takes a shower and puts on her clothes. Then she eats breakfast at half past six. 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 
At seven o'clock, she drives her car to the hospital. At seven o'clock, she drives her car to the hospital. At seven o'clock, she drives her car to the hospital. Nelly starts work at eight o'clock. Nelly starts work at eight o'clock. Nelly starts work at eight o'clock. She cleans the rooms in the hospital. She cleans the rooms in the hospital. She cleans the rooms in the hospital. Then, she helps the doctors. Then, she helps the doctors. Then, she helps the doctors. At 12 o'clock, she has lunch. At 12 o'clock, she has lunch. At 12 o'clock, she has lunch. She goes home at 5 o'clock. She goes home at 5 o'clock. She goes home at 5 o'clock. At home, she takes a shower and she cooks dinner. At home, she takes a shower and she cooks dinner. At home, she takes a shower and she cooks dinner. She has dinner at half past six in the evening. She has dinner at half past six in the evening. She has dinner at half past six in the evening. Then, she watches TV. Then, she watches TV. Then, she watches TV. At 10 o'clock, she goes to bed. At 10 o'clock, she goes to bed. At 10 o'clock, she goes to bed. Three. Engineers are trying to make plane engines that don't pollute the air, but it's very difficult. They know that lighter planes with bigger wings use less fuel. 
They are designing better planes all the time. Some planes can fly using biofuels, but many people think it's wrong to grow plants for planes. They say that we need the land to grow food for people. What do you think? A few planes are already powered by solar energy, but they don't have any space for passengers. Repeat after me. Engineers are trying to make plane engines that don't pollute the air. Engineers are trying to make plane engines that don't pollute the air. Engineers are trying to make plane engines that don't pollute the air. But it's very difficult. But it's very difficult. But it's very difficult. They know that lighter planes with bigger wings use less fuel. They know that lighter planes with bigger wings use less fuel. They know that lighter planes with bigger wings use less fuel. They are designing better planes all the time. They are designing better planes all the time. They are designing better planes all the time. Some planes can fly using biofuels. Some planes can fly using biofuels. Some planes can fly using biofuels. But many people think it's wrong to grow plants for planes. But many people think it's wrong to grow plants for planes. But many people think it's wrong to grow plants for planes. They say that we need the land to grow food for people. They say that we need the land to grow food for people. They say that we need the land to grow food for people. What do you think?
What do you think? What do you think? A few planes are already powered by solar energy. A few planes are already powered by solar energy. A few planes are already powered by solar energy. But they don't have any space for passengers. But they don't have any space for passengers. But they don't have any space for passengers. Four. Power of knowledge. Knowledge is the most substantial element in the world. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown. Knowledge is the most substantial element in the world. Knowledge is the most substantial element in the world. Knowledge is the most substantial element in the world. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown.
Power of Knowledge Knowledge is, is the most substantial element in the world. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown. Knowledge is, is the most substantial element in the world. Knowledge is, is the most substantial element in the world. Knowledge is, is the most substantial element in the world. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown. Five. Enjoy outside sports. Do you love doing sports outside? Then Alaska is the place for you. Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air and they come to do extreme sports, sports that are exciting, but also dangerous. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It takes about three weeks. It's really cold when you get to the top, so most people stay there for only a short time. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. 
a teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. Skiing is popular in Alaska. There is a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. He used six pairs of boots, but he also went on rivers on a raft and he skied too. He slept in a tent. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life and he doesn't want to stop. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. Listen and practice. Enjoy outside sports. Enjoy outside sports. Enjoy outside sports. Do you love doing sports outside? Do you love doing sports outside? Do you love doing sports outside? Then Alaska is the place for you. Then Alaska is the place for you. Then Alaska is the place for you. Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air. Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air. Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air. And they come to do extreme sports. And they come to do extreme sports. And they come to do extreme sports. Sports that are exciting, but also dangerous. Sports that are exciting, but also dangerous. Sports that are exciting, but also dangerous. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America.
This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It takes about three weeks. It takes about three weeks. It takes about three weeks. It's really cold when you get to the top. It's really cold when you get to the top. It's really cold when you get to the top. So most people stay there for only a short time. So most people stay there for only a short time. So most people stay there for only a short time. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. 
a teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. A teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. A teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. Skiing is popular in Alaska. Skiing is popular in Alaska. Skiing is popular in Alaska. There's a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. There's a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. There's a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing.
you can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. He used six pairs of boots. He used six pairs of boots. He used six pairs of boots. But he also went on rivers on a raft, and he skied, too. But he also went on rivers on a raft, and he skied, too. But he also went on rivers on a raft, and he skied, too. He slept in a tent. He slept in a tent. He slept in a tent. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life, and he doesn't want to stop. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life, and he doesn't want to stop. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life, and he doesn't want to stop. 
When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. Listen and practice. Enjoy outside sports. Do you love doing sports outside? Then Alaska is the place for you. Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air, and they come to do extreme sports, sports that are exciting but also dangerous. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It takes about three weeks. It's really cold when you get to the top, so most people stay there for only a short time. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. A teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. Skiing is popular in Alaska. There is a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. He used six pairs of boots, but he also went on rivers on a raft and he skied too. He slept in a tent. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night, there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life, and he doesn't want to stop. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. Listen and practice. Enjoy outside sports. Enjoy outside sports. Enjoy outside sports. Do you love doing sports outside? Do you love doing sports outside? Do you love doing sports outside? Then Alaska is the place for you. Then Alaska is the place for you. Then Alaska is the place for you. Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air.
Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air. Many tourists come to Alaska to enjoy walking outside in the clean, cold air. And they come to do extreme sports. And they come to do extreme sports. And they come to do extreme sports. Sports that are exciting, but also dangerous. Sports that are exciting, but also dangerous. Sports that are exciting, but also dangerous. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. Some people come to Alaska to climb Mount McKinley in Denali National Park. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. This mountain is 6,194 meters high, the highest in North America. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It isn't easy to climb to the top of Mount McKinley. It takes about three weeks. It takes about three weeks. It takes about three weeks. It's really cold when you get to the top. It's really cold when you get to the top. It's really cold when you get to the top. So most people stay there for only a short time. So most people stay there for only a short time. So most people stay there for only a short time. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. You need very warm clothes, and you must be careful. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. Between 1932 and 2012, 120 climbers died on the mountain. In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. In 
In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. In June 2012, four Japanese climbers died in an avalanche. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. Whitewater rafting is also a popular sport. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. The Nanana River, also in Denali National Park, is very fast in some places. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Mount Alieska is a good place to go paragliding. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. Don't worry if you don't know how to paraglide. A teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. A teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. A teacher goes on the paraglider with you so you can enjoy the beautiful mountain and forest below you. Skiing is popular in Alaska. Skiing is popular in Alaska. Skiing is popular in Alaska. There's a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. There's a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. There's a lot of snow and there are many good places to ski. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. Eagle Crest, only 20 kilometers from the state capital, Juneau, is an excellent mountain for skiing. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. There are many other interesting things to do in Alaska. Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun.
Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Some of these are less exciting than paragliding or whitewater rafting, but they are great fun. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Look for gold in the rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Fly over the glaciers in a plane or helicopter. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. Visit the Sea Life Center in Seward. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. You can see wonderful sea animals only a meter from where you are standing. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. Some people enjoy traveling across Alaska as well. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. In 2010, Andrew Skirka traveled 7,600 kilometers across Alaska and the Yukon in 176 days. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. That's 43 kilometers a day. Most of the time he walked. He used six pairs of boots. He used six pairs of boots. He used six pairs of boots. But he also went on rivers on a raft, and he skied, too. But he also went on rivers on a raft, and he skied, too. But he also went on rivers on a raft, and he skied, too. He slept in a tent.
He slept in a tent. He slept in a tent. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. When Andrew skied in Denali Park, he was very worried about avalanches and snowstorms. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. He didn't see any avalanches, but one night there was a really bad storm and his tent blew away. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life, and he doesn't want to stop. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life, and he doesn't want to stop. Andrew has traveled 48,000 kilometers in his life, and he doesn't want to stop. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. When he isn't working, he writes books about his travels. Six. Diane and her friend spent the final day of her visit in San Francisco's downtown area. Diane's favorite part of her entire trip was taking a trolley to transport her up and down the hilly streets of San Francisco. Diane did a lot of shopping downtown on her last day. She and her friends celebrated the end of her visit by having dinner at one of San Francisco's best restaurants. Repeat after me. Diane and her friends spent the final day of her visit in San Francisco's downtown area. Diane and her friends spent the final day of her visit in San Francisco's downtown area. Diane and her friends spent the final day of her visit in San Francisco's downtown area. Diane's favorite part of her entire trip was taking a trolley to transport her up and down the hilly streets of San Francisco. Diane's favorite part of her entire trip was taking a trolley to transport her up and down the hilly streets of San Francisco.
Diane's favorite part of her entire trip was taking a trolley to transport her up and down the hilly streets of San Francisco. Diane did a lot of shopping downtown on her last day. Diane did a lot of shopping downtown on her last day. Diane did a lot of shopping downtown on her last day. She and her friends celebrated the end of her visit. She and her friends celebrated the end of her visit. She and her friends celebrated the end of her visit. By having dinner at one of San Francisco's best restaurants. by having dinner at one of San Francisco's best restaurants. By having dinner at one of San Francisco's best restaurants. Diane and her friend spent the final day of her visit in San Francisco's downtown area. Diane's favorite part of her entire trip was taking a trolley to transport her up and down the hilly streets of San Francisco. Diane did a lot of shopping downtown on her last day. She and her friends celebrated the end of her visit by having dinner at one of San Francisco's best restaurants. Repeat after me. Diane and her friends spent the final day of her visit in San Francisco's downtown area. Diane and her friends spent the final day of her visit in San Francisco's downtown area. Diane and her friends spent the final day of her visit in San Francisco's downtown area. Diane's favorite part of her entire trip was taking a trolley to transport her up and down the hilly streets of San Francisco. Diane's favorite part of her entire trip was taking a trolley to transport her up and down the hilly streets of San Francisco. Diane's favorite part of her entire trip was taking a trolley to transport her up and down the hilly streets of San Francisco. Diane did a lot of shopping downtown on her last day.
Diane did a lot of shopping downtown on her last day. Diane did a lot of shopping downtown on her last day. She and her friends celebrated the end of her visit. She and her friends celebrated the end of her visit. She and her friends celebrated the end of her visit. by having dinner at one of San Francisco's best restaurants. By having dinner at one of San Francisco's best restaurants. By having dinner at one of San Francisco's best restaurants. Seven. At school. These students are at school. They meet their friends. They talk and they are happy. Listen. That's the bell. Let's go to the classroom. The students stand in the hallway by the door. The teacher says, Hello, everyone. These students have books and notebooks. Can you see them? No, you can't. They are in their bags. In the classroom, the teacher says, Sit down, please. Open your English books. It's an English class. The teacher has a picture. She says, What's this? One student says, It's a giraffe. Put up your hand when you want to speak in class. In some classes, students have computers. Do you have computers in your classroom? In physical education classes, students run, jump, and play. Listen and practice. At school. At school. At school. These students are at school. These students are at school. These students are at school. They meet their friends. They meet their friends.
they meet their friends. They talk and they are happy. They talk and they are happy. They talk and they are happy. Listen, that's the bell. Listen, that's the bell. Listen, that's the bell. Let's go to the classroom. Let's go to the classroom. Let's go to the classroom. The students stand in the hallway by the door. The students stand in the hallway by the door. The students stand in the hallway by the door. The teacher says, Hello, everyone. The teacher says, Hello, everyone. The teacher says, Hello, everyone. These students have books and notebooks. These students have books and notebooks. These students have books and notebooks. Can you see them? Can you see them? Can you see them? No, you can't. They are in their bags. No, you can't. They are in their bags. No, you can't. They are in their bags. In the classroom, the teacher says, Sit down, please.
In the classroom, the teacher says, "Sit down, please." In the classroom, the teacher says, "Sit down, please." Open your English books. Open your English books. Open your English books. It's an English class. It's an English class. It's an English class. The teacher has a picture. The teacher has a picture. The teacher has a picture. She says, "What's this?" She says, "What's this?" She says, "What's this?" One student says, "It's a giraffe." One student says, "It's a giraffe." One student says, "It's a giraffe." Put up your hand when you want to speak in class. Put up your hand when you want to speak in class. Put up your hand when you want to speak in class. In some classes, students have computers. In some classes, students have computers. In some classes, students have computers. Do you have computers in your classroom?
Do you have computers in your classroom? Do you have computers in your classroom? In physical education classes, students run, jump, and play. In physical education classes, students run, jump, and play. In physical education classes, students run, jump, and play. At school. These students are at school. They meet their friends. They talk and they are happy. Listen, that's the bell. Let's go to the classroom. The students stand in the hallway by the door. The teacher says, Hello, everyone. These students have books and notebooks. Can you see them? No, you can't. They are in their bags. In the classroom, the teacher says, Sit down, please. Open your English books. It's an English class. The teacher has a picture. She says, What's this? One student says, It's a giraffe. Put up your hand when you want to speak in class. In some classes, students have computers. Do you have computers in your classroom? In physical education classes, students run, jump, and play. Listen and practice. At school. At school. At school. These students are at school. These students are at school. These students are at school. They meet their friends. They meet their friends. They meet their friends.
They talk, and they are happy. They talk, and they are happy. They talk, and they are happy. Listen, that's the bell. Listen, that's the bell. Listen, that's the bell. Let's go to the classroom. Let's go to the classroom. Let's go to the classroom. The students stand in the hallway by the door. The students stand in the hallway by the door. The students stand in the hallway by the door. The teacher says, Hello, everyone. The teacher says, Hello, everyone. The teacher says, Hello, everyone. These students have books and notebooks. These students have books and notebooks. These students have books and notebooks. Can you see them? Can you see them? Can you see them? No, you can't. They are in their bags. No, you can't. They are in their bags. No, you can't. They are in their bags. In the classroom, the teacher says, Sit down, please.
In the classroom, the teacher says, "Sit down, please." In the classroom, the teacher says, "Sit down, please." Open your English books. Open your English books. Open your English books. It's an English class. It's an English class. It's an English class. The teacher has a picture. The teacher has a picture. The teacher has a picture. She says, "What's this?" She says, "What's this?" She says, "What's this?" One student says, "It's a giraffe." One student says, "It's a giraffe." One student says, "It's a giraffe." Put up your hand when you want to speak in class. Put up your hand when you want to speak in class. Put up your hand when you want to speak in class. In some classes, students have computers. In some classes, students have computers. In some classes, students have computers. Do you have computers in your classroom?
Do you have computers in your classroom? Do you have computers in your classroom? In physical education classes, students run, jump, and play. In physical education classes, students run, jump, and play. In physical education classes, students run, jump, and play. Eight. Earth's crust. Earth is round, like an orange. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. We call this skin Earth's crust. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Earth's crust has different pieces. These pieces move very, very slowly. Millions of years ago. The pieces moved and made mountains. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. English reading practice. Earth's crust. Earth's crust. Earth's crust. Earth is round, like an orange. Earth is round, like an orange. Earth is round, like an orange. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. We call this skin Earth's crust. We call this skin Earth's crust. We call this skin Earth's crust. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Under the crust. There is very hot rock.
Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Earth's crust has different pieces. Earth's crust has different pieces. Earth's crust has different pieces. These pieces move very, very slowly. These pieces move very, very slowly. These pieces move very, very slowly. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. Listen and practice. Earth's crust. Earth is round, like an orange. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. We call this skin Earth's crust. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Earth's crust has different pieces. These pieces move very, very slowly. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. English reading practice. Earth's crust. Earth's crust.
Earth's crust. Earth is round, like an orange. Earth is round, like an orange. Earth is round, like an orange. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. Oranges have a skin, and Earth has a skin too. We call this skin Earth's crust. We call this skin Earth's crust. We call this skin Earth's crust. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Under the crust, there is very hot rock. Earth's crust has different pieces. Earth's crust has different pieces. Earth's crust has different pieces. These pieces move very, very slowly. These pieces move very, very slowly. These pieces move very, very slowly. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Millions of years ago, the pieces moved and made mountains. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. Under mountains, the crust is thick, but under the ocean, it's thinner. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes.
When two pieces of the crust move and meet, there can be earthquakes. Nine. What is a city? It's seven o'clock in the morning. People are going to work. It's a new day in the city. What is a city? A city is streets and buildings. A city is cars, buses, and taxis. A city is people, lots of people. In some very big cities, there are more than 15 million people. Now it's 11 o'clock. There are lots of people in the streets. People are going shopping. People are taking buses and taxis. Some of the people are tourists. Every day, new people come to the city. What is a city? What is a city? What is a city? It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven o'clock in the morning. It's seven o'clock in the morning. People are going to work. People are going to work. People are going to work. It's a new day in the city. It's a new day in the city. It's a new day in the city. What is a city? A city is streets and buildings. A city is streets and buildings. A city is streets and buildings.
A city is cars, buses, and taxis. A city is cars, buses, and taxis. A city is cars, buses, and taxis. A city is people, lots of people. A city is people, lots of people. A city is people, lots of people. In some very big cities, there are more than 15 million people. In some very big cities, there are more than 15 million people. In some very big cities, there are more than 15 million people. Now, it's 11 o'clock. Now, it's 11 o'clock. Now, it's 11 o'clock. There are lots of people in the streets. There are lots of people in the streets. There are lots of people in the streets. People are going shopping. People are going shopping. People are going shopping. People are taking buses and taxis. People are taking buses and taxis. People are taking buses and taxis.
some of the people are tourists. Some of the people are tourists. Some of the people are tourists. Every day, new people come to the city. Every day, new people come to the city. Every day, new people come to the city. Ten. She is young. Her shoes are old. She wears them to work. She goes to work five days a week. She loves her work. She is a waitress. She works at a restaurant. The restaurant is near her home. She walks to the restaurant. She stands up all day long. She is young and strong. But her shoes are not. They are old. She saw an ad in the paper. All shoes were on sale at the shoe store. She walked into the store. She looked around. She saw some black shoes. They looked good. She tried them on. They were very comfortable. They felt good. They were only $25. She paid cash. She wore them home. She felt good. She was ready for work the next day. Repeat after me. She is young. She is young. She is young. She is young. Her shoes are old. Her shoes are old. Her shoes are old. Her shoes are old. She wears them to work. 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 She goes to work five days a week. 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 She loves her work. She loves her work. She loves her work. She loves her work. She is a waitress. She is a waitress. She is a waitress. She is a waitress. She works at a restaurant. She works at a restaurant.
She works at a restaurant. She works at a restaurant. The restaurant is near her home. 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 She walks to the restaurant. 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 She stands up all day long. 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 She is young and strong. 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 But her shoes are not. 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 They are old. They are old. They are old. They are old. She saw an ad in the paper. 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 All shoes were on sale at the shoe store. All shoes were on sale at the shoe store. All shoes were on sale at the shoe store. All shoes were on sale at the shoe store. She walked into the 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 store. She looked around. She looked around. She looked around. She looked around. She saw some black shoes. 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 She tried them on. She tried them on. She tried them on. She tried them on. 
They were very comfortable. They were very comfortable. They were very comfortable. They were very comfortable. They felt good. They felt good. They felt good. They felt good. They were only $25. She paid cash. 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 She wore them home. She felt good. 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 She was ready for work the next day. She was ready for work the next day. She was ready for work the next day. She was ready for work the next day.